sound of thunder echoed through the Grand Valley last night. It was triggered by lightning from a very unusual thunderstorm, a pyrocumulonimbus or fire thunderstorm, the spawn of the Pine Gulch fire that's been burning on the western slope of Colorado since July 31st. Wildfires have the ability to create their own weather. Here's how it works. It starts with the heat and smoke above the fire rising high into the atmosphere. There, it mixes with cooler air and causes cloud condensation. Sometimes that cloud can evolve into a full-blown thunderstorm, usually referred to as a pyrocumulonimbus. The Pine Gulch fire has been creating these on a regular basis. Look at this video from last week. Notice the white cauliflower appearance to the cloud. This is the beginning stages of a pyrocumulonimbus. And look at this video from an airplane over the Pine Gulch fire. This smoke plume is also transitioning into a thunderstorm. A pyrocumulonimbus is capable of producing the same hazards seen in regular thunderstorms. Rain, hail, lightning, microbursts, and even tornadoes. On Saturday, the National Weather Service in Reno, Nevada issued the country's first ever tornado warning for a fire tornado. As a pyrocumulonimbus over the Loyalton fire created this tornado. They are similar to fire whirls like this one created by the Pine Gulch fire last week. These are created by temperature and pressure differences at the surface, but if a fire whirl was to get pulled into a pyrocumulonimbus and come in contact with the storm, it would then become a rare fire tornado, or as they are sometimes called, fire nados. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.